How's it going everyone? Welcome back to my page. Um, trying to get a couple more videos uploaded for you guys. Trying to get on the ball here. Been down lately. Haven't had anything to fly so haven't really been posting much. Got this from Drone Racer 101, one of the giveaways that he had. I won the the, uh, the Tyrannus giveaway. Uh, figured I'd do a first impressions kind of thing because I've always flown my Spectrum DX6i right here. Had this thing forever. It's nice. Yeah, but figured I'd step up into the real world of FPV racing. So, tried my best and I won one of these bad boys. Not going to do an unboxing because everybody's seen what's inside these things. You know, hoopla all this that and the other I've had it out messing with it a couple times figured I'd give you guys a real-world impression between these two and I have got to say the X7 man by far this thing is awesome compared to this it makes my my DX6i look like a toy and it feels like a toy when you hold them in your hands now they're not too much different on size I think the, the QX7 is a little bit smaller than the DX6i but width wise and you guys can see if it's not for this part where you grab it it's a lot thinner and just the way everything feels I know the DX6i has only got two position switches versus the three, but putting all that aside, just the way they feel, the sticks are so silky smooth. I know this has got the M7 gimbals in it, and this has just got stock spectrum, but man, oh man, I don't know how to explain the difference, but they are amazing. Just by far it blows me away it's got some weight to it I always thought these QX7 transmitters were like toys to me because they always in the pictures you always see they feel like cheap plastic and not there but man I don't know how to tell you guys without you holding one in your hands but this sucker is awesome now I know it's the S model S is always better but holy crap this thing is awesome feeling just all the little features that it has compared to a standard radio versus a computerized fully computerized radio it's like night and day but I'll tell you some of the little features these are actual rubber I thought they were just plastic no they are actual rubber and they are grippy when you hold it this here everybody says it's painted on I got to looking around the edges and it's actual fabric that's been glued on I don't know if you guys can see right there along the edge but you can actually peel it up it's not paint so I don't know how well that'll last over time but just just holding it in your hand I mean it feels awesome I always thought you know if I got one of these I was gonna paint the blue because on the pictures it always seems a lot lighter but man just the blue and black when you hold it in your hands and actually see it it's nice but yeah figured I'd give you guys a little rundown of what I've done so far I've not changed any of my switches I know everybody usually changes this one for the three position didn't do that I did take the notching I opened it up and took the notching out it was already set to mode two for me when I got it I added the next strap piece of course and then going from Blue Falcon I know he's no longer with us but awesome reviews awesome tutorials um, him and there's another guy painless 360 I think is what it is not 100% sure don't quote me on that but they have a awesome setup videos for all this stuff and I've already got my SD card loaded. Everything's been up to updated and everything. 
And going off of Mr. Blue Falcon. Welcome to OpenTX. I've got my splash screen. And Switch it, warning. This thing is awesome. And no, it does say fail safe. I know. I do not have anything FR Sky at all. All I've got is Spectrum. So I'm starting to transition over to this. So I already got a model set up. I've already got, let's see, my sim set up. But that's about it on this thing. Other than that, I have quickly learned a lot of stuff just by going through everybody's tutorials and setups online with this thing. It is awesome. I've still got to set some of my switch sounds. But other than that, I figured I'd hop on and give you guys a nice little overview of the difference of these two things. It's like night and day just having these two side by side and being able to compare them they are this thing right here is like a toy anymore which will probably wind up going up for sale soon but I won't fly anything different than this this thing is awesome so hit the like subscribe if you want just getting into this stuff finally gonna be able to get stuff up in the air so bear with me on the videos as they come out but hope you guys have a blessed day and keep them flying